Hi guys, it's me Trisha and welcome to my kitchen. Are you ready to make one of the best salads ever? Well, I just made a video of the ingredients. You can follow me. The first thing that I'm going to do is take my great big bowl. I'm gonna set it down because I have to figure out what kind of greens I'm gonna use. I am going to use one handful of kale, some Italian parsley, mmm, so good. From, from root to tip, I'm going to have mm, some turnip greens. These are so good and so healthy for you. That's what makes my skin glow. A lot of people have asked me, Trisha, what is making your skin grow? And it's definitely that. Some fresh cilantro, which it's Taco Tuesday, I get it, but I really enjoy, really enjoy the salads that I'm making. And so one of the things, you have to have a good relationship with your produce department. Because when we go grocery shopping, they put the produce right in front and it goes bad during your shopping experience. So a lot of people see that at first. I always make a mess. I didn't mean to do that. <sighs> People, sorry, take one of these just like that. People like to say that, you know, produce is bad, they don't like vegetables, but this is the way to make yourself feel better. Because when I eat a lot of sugar, it ages me. When I eat a lot of sugar, it does something to me. So I've got my kale, my cilantro, my turnip greens, and my radicchio. No, it's not a radicchio, it's a radish. I don't believe it's a radicchio. And I wanna prep up these vegetables a little bit later. However, I wanna keep them good condition. Next thing I have is some broccoli. Now, what you wanna do is you wanna make sure you have a sharp knife, but not too sharp. But I'm going to start prepping these vegetables here. So the first thing that I do is I have my I've already washed them for safety, but I'll do it again. Because I know some of you have a real problem with me accidentally forgetting to wash my vegetables and don't you worry. After you guys made it very clear to me how important it is to wash my vegetables, I make sure I wash them. So I like to cut up my greens, so I have a good mixture of greens, and it is absolutely beautiful. And I'll show you how my, I make my secret salad dressing too. It's supposed to be secret, but oh, the cilantro and the parsley makes this so aromatic. Mmm, and the kale. Don't be afraid to get in there with these, because most of the time when you buy these vegetables, mmm, oh, I wish you could smell this. It's so beautiful. We're gonna start, mmm, oh I love it. You wanna have some, some radish because the radish is really good for you. I don't know, I just started getting into like salad creations and I remember, I remember when, McDo no, you cannot have my salad. I do share some of my salad sometime with the dogs too. They like it. You cannot feed your dogs avocado. Just so you know, do not feed them. There are certain things, just look up. So, yes. As I was saying, you have to have a good relationship with your produce department. And you can get produce on sale, but a lot of people don't even know the produce department exists. All right, so this is this. I'm gonna put this at the bottom of my of my bowl. So oftentimes, like, it depends on what I want to eat. If I'm feeling a little bit bloated and I have it worked out, I definitely want a salad. If I feel, if I feel like, what I just do with that? Okay. If I don't feel bloated and I've worked out, I didn't work out today, so I'm having like two salads today. 
but I'm gonna rinse this off so you don't get mad at me. And I understand this is my broccoli. I love some broccoli. I cut off the tops of it. And what a lot of people don't get is the stalk is really good for you. So this is a natural and really good way to lose weight is by eating salads. And then if you work out, you, of course you need protein, but this is how much of it I use. I put it in with the rest of my vegetables and I cut it like so, but you can't see it because I don't have the setup for it. But one day I'll have a kitchen. I'd love to welcome you guys to my kitchen. Oh, it's so good. Wait till you see this when I'm done. So I make bite-sized chunks because I do like to bite into that salad. I like that crisp bite. And especially with the salad dressing that I make, wait till you see my salad dressing. It makes vegetables palatable. And so I make sure to try to get all of it off of there, but I'm a messy cook. How many of you are messy cooks? I'm a messy cook. Ooh. Then I just go in, make sure to, probably asking where my carrots are. You know what, I forgot to get carrots, but it's okay because I have some peppers. This is what I have so far. Doesn't it look great? Oh, I love it. And eating salad really puts me in a good mood. It really, really does because there's something about, I know, don't judge me, okay? I get that. I got a lot of laundry to do. It's, it's cold, it's winter, and what did I do today? I did a lot of stuff today. Why do you have to judge me? Stop judging me. I know what I did today, okay? I did stuff. Just playing. So, eating healthy salads and things puts me in such a great mood. And I have a lot more energy because a lot of people have asked me, Trisha, how do you have so much more energy? And it's what we put in our bodies. What comes in must go out. And how it feels. Mmm. I love it. Oh, it's so good. So, mmm. The last thing that I put on this salad is the avocado, avocado, whatever you want to call it. But this is the best salad recipe that I could recommend to any one of you. And these are spring onions or green onions, and I love them two bits. Mmm. Mmm. So good. So when you have a better relationship with produce, little Debbie. She's not going to be there for you. But then again, I get that. I've heard of people who've never dieted in their life, who've lived a very long time. It just depends on your genetics. It depends on, on you. If you live a healthy lifestyle, if you're active. I'm starting to get more active. I'm getting out in life. So the foods that I eat, especially working out and being much more active, have really helped me in my overall goal of, of health because I feel better. After eating a salad, oh my gosh, I feel great. After mm, enjoying what used to be on the dinner plate, ew, I'm not eating any vegetables. Well, it feels good because I buy dresses now that are, sorry about that. <laughs> I buy dresses that are smaller but see you can be good in all shapes and all sizes that's not the point of what I'm trying to say is that we can be healthier and we can feel better about ourselves and when we do that it shows our confidence our our libido increases oh my gosh when you stop eating all of that all of that extra sugar, your libido will return. I promise you. It has for me. <laughs> anyway, so I enjoy so much putting this salad together for you. 
to share with you what I do to try to be healthy, to share with you what I try to do to try to live a healthier life because if I can do it, you can do it. And it starts with a positive mental attitude. Yes, it does, Bear. Oh, it does, buddy. Hear him over there. The next thing I'm going to do, and then I'll top it off with some pine nuts, which is really great. So I'll, I'll do a video about I do hair. I'm sorry I'm messing with my hair so much. So the next thing that I have is that beautiful, yummy cucumber. Just love your vegetables. Eat them! You're supposed to eat them, ladies! Go to like Trisha Paytas store for the other stuff. You're supposed to eat vegetables, not do other stuff with them. <sighs> Let me teach you. I've been eating cucumbers for years and you guys made fun of me, but it's full of healthy, mm, healthy, healthy things. Mm. They're gonna help me live a better life. So I chop up the cucumbers. This is gonna be one of the best salads you've ever had, I promise you. And let me tell you, you're gonna pass some gas too. If you've never eaten, if you've never eaten a healthy thing before in your life and you now are just starting to be healthy, you're gonna pass gas when you eat this stuff. And you know what? I think it's like my colon singing. I think so, because you're not constipated and you're doing good for you. So in my next video, I'm gonna show you guys how I make my salad dressing, but right now I'm going to make my salad. So I peel away, Ooh. I peel away the top layer of this. And one thing that I would love to have one day is a compost pile. I think a compost pile would be really great. So I take about this much. That's a, that's a decent size amount. And I add it to my bowl. I chop it up into bite-sized pieces. Kind of like almost a coleslaw with all of this. But I don't add, I'm missing carrots and I, don't let me forget mm, the peppers. It's gonna be so good. So then we've got the peppers and then we have the avocado and that's it. And then a really great dressing. <sighs> Should it be so hard to open up these vegetables? So I take about two, two of these. Now, if you're so concerned about me not adequately washing my vegetables, you do what you wanna do. I like buying the stuff that's already washed and rinsed, so then it's just ready to go. And I cut, with my peppers, I cut out the seeds, which they say the vitamins are in the seeds. I believe it, but you can also save the seeds and grow them if you have a garden. So I cut up these peppers just like this, and then I stick it on top like that. They're not hot peppers, they're sweet peppers. And then, last but not least, I'm going to take my avocado, which my avocado is so good. Avocado is so good. Mm -hmm. I don't know what I'd do without the avocado. I'd cry if I didn't have an avocado. I Avocado is just, I love it. <laughs> oh goodness. Well, I think I grabbed the least ripe one out of all of them. Oh no. Oh, there it is. Oh, is it? Oh, <laughs> I love it. Mm. So I take a spoon. And I just spoon it out onto my plate. 
There's all kinds of gadgets that can get out. Be very careful and do not use a knife. There are a lot of gadgets that you can buy to get out your avocado seed. Just use a spoon. And then, that's that. Then I cut it up to bite-sized chunks. And I spoon it into the top of my salad because I'm going to shake it all up. I'm going to do a shake, shake, shake after. So anyway, this is the this is the salad. Doesn't it look great? I love it. Mm. Enjoy, and I'm going to make you a video about how to make the world's best salad dressing. Enjoy. Thank you for watching. See you real soon.